Hey guys, welcome to the first lecture of the course. In this lecture, we're just gonna talk about what we cover in the course and how to get the most out of it. So first off, I made this course because I've been making MVPs and MVP experiments my entire career, and it's a skill that I think a lot of people need to know how to do. The problem is, though, that most people out there just have a vague idea of what an MVP is or how to use it in a lean testing environment. And that's why I, I wanted to put together a comprehensive course that goes pretty much from zero all the way to one, and we learn all the lean techniques in the middle. I'm teaching this class in a progressive manner. I call it the MVP mountain. And as we climb the MVP mountain, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass several checkpoints, six in fact, and each checkpoint represents a lean test that we're gonna run. And if you keep passing each checkpoint, you'll keep going up and you'll finally reach the top where your idea is awesome. Green lights, go out and build it. So in the first two sections of this course, we're gonna catch everybody up to speed on what the Lean Startup Framework is and what it says. But more importantly, we're gonna talk about how does this apply to MVPs? What are MVP strategies you should use? How should you understand the Lean mindset? And how should you understand what exactly you should build for your specific use case. After that, we're gonna learn how to design an MVP experiment, we'll learn how to create hypotheses, learn how to identify our riskiest assumption, we'll learn how to set things like minimum criteria for success and actually quantify out what we have to achieve in order to validate our idea. After that, I'm gonna teach you some techniques for finding competitors, because competitors can ruin your idea right from the beginning. So we're gonna talk about how you can find them and how you can think about them if and when you find them. After that, we're gonna go over what's called customer development interviews, probably my favorite part. I'm gonna show you a systematic and, and easy way of finding potential customers, getting them on the phone or through email and learning an enormous amount about what they care about and whether or not your idea actually solves their problem. After that, we're gonna learn how to build two different types of pitch experiments. One, a simple, and one, a complex. In the first one, we're gonna build a launch rock pitch experiment. I'm gonna teach you the essentials of landing pages, the 101. What do you need to know to be effective and be effective in creating a pitch experiment? After we build one with launch rock, we're gonna go out and actually start hitting targets. We're gonna do some duct tape marketing, also known as guerrilla marketing. I'm gonna show you some of the most effective techniques I know. Then we'll create a complex one. We'll go from a three point test to a seven point test. You're gonna learn a lot of cool techniques along the way, such as A-B testing or multivariate testing. After that, I'm gonna show you how you can get up and running with three different ad networks and start driving real traffic to your complex landing page and see how real customers react and whether or not they'll buy your stuff. And then after that, we hit the grand finale. I show you the way that we, in a very codeless way, we don't touch a single line of code, create an MVP that can cover the vast majority of use cases for everybody out there. It's a whirlwind of a course. I teach it like a workshop, so I want you guys to follow along. And if you don't have an idea that you follow along with, I have two ideas that are running in tandem that you can keep track of. One of them's called Air Basket. The other one is called docs to go So you can cheer for whichever one you want to succeed. Like I said before, one of them does and one of them does not. <laughs>